Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do my Diptyque Perfume Collection video. It is absolutely beautiful outside, uh, feels like spring here in Pittsburgh. So I decided, let me get ready, sit down, and make a perfume video for you guys. You guys have been really asking for a Diptyque Perfume Collection. So let's go ahead and get started. Surprisingly, I only have eight Diptyque perfumes. I don't have that many, which is kind of surprising, knowing me. Um, I already have four by Rados, and I just started collecting them. So it's surprising that I only have this many, but these are ones that I absolutely love. There's only about two perfumes from Diptyque that I are absolutely on my list to get next, and I'll talk about that. So Diptyque comes in a couple sizes for the perfume. This is their classic size perfume bottle. It is 3.4 ounces and it retails for $125. They also have a littler size which is 1.7 ounces like classic perfume and is $90. So $90 for this guy, $125 for this guy. So I mean most people would probably pick up the bigger one. Now I do have two older size bottles. This used to be the size of the perfume bottle. It's now this size. It is shorter and stubbier now. It used to be taller and thinner. You can really see it when I line up here. So it's not, it is exactly the same amount of perfume as you can see. It's exactly the same amount, there we go, but it's just smaller. And then they also have a 2.5 ounce in the black bottles, and these are the Eau de Parfums. All Diptyque perfumes are Eau de Toilettes for the most part, except they're most popular, they have an Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. They do smell a little bit different in the versions. I have um, two of the fragrances, I actually have one of each in. But let's go ahead and get started in um, the order that I purchased them. This is the first Diptyque perfume that I purchased. It is Florabellio, if it's going to focus here. So the first perfume that I purchased from Diptyque is Florabellio. Now I have my handy dandy iPad here so I can pull up the notes for you guys, but these perfumes are so pure that it's actually really, really easy. I can't find it, but I know this one pretty much off the back of my head. There it is. Florabellio. So, Florabellio Eau de Toilette by Diptyque is a notes of salty sea air with apple blossom and roasted sesame and coffee bean. So, sounds really, really crazy, right? When you first smell this fragrance, it's super, super fresh. Very outdoorsy. Kind of reminds me of wood sage and sea salt um, from... Uh, Joe Malone. I actually like to wear the Wood Sage and Sea Salt body cream with this fragrance on top. If I'm, it's, it's very spring, almost like the heat of summer. I like to wear this guy. And it's super unique. What makes it unique is that coffee bean. You're not used to seeing coffee bean in something that's like fresh and um, salty like this. And it's really, really odd. Let me see. I'm going to overwhelm myself when I do a collection video. But it's just very, very fresh but it has that weird coffee scent to it, and you're not expecting that. That is what turned me onto this fragrance. So this is Florabellio. I have it in the big size, the 3.4 ounce size. I absolutely love this guy. So unique. I've used a pretty good amount of it. Um, I really, really like that fragrance. Next, I purchased, I'm trying to see in the order that I purchased these in. I purchased Odwell which is right here. This is the worst camera, I swear. Oh, well, it does not. Seriously, like, isn't that weird? Okay, so this is Odwell, trust me. As you can see from back here, that's what it is. I really need to invest in a new camera instead of buying all these perfumes. I know, that's what you're going to say. Um, now, this one, oh, for the Eau de Parfums, I don't think I mentioned, they are 150 Now, Eau Dwell is amber, vanilla, and citrus. So, to me, this just smells like a warm baked vanilla with a little bit of a spiciness to it. It's really, really cool. 
Um, if you smell the Vinny candle, um, the Ben's one, no, not the Ben's one candle, the Vinny candle from Diptyque, it's very similar. It's not exact, but as you can see, I have used a nice bit of this, and this is a very, very big compliment getter. A lot of people are like, ooh, you smell really, really good today when I wear the Odwell. Love that. I also was gifted from one of my dear friends the Odwell and the Oda Toilette. Now, this is in the smaller size, the $90 size. Now, this... I don't want to spray everything on me, so I'm going to use this Nordstrom paper. I would say this is a little bit more fresh. I smell a lot more of the citrus in than vanilla in the Oda Toilette. So if you like a little bit of a lighter concentration, but you also like those really bright citrusy notes in the Eau Dwell, I would definitely say to pick up the, um, the Eau de Toilette. It's a little bit different. Another friend, the same friend, gifted me this guy as well. This is from last year. It is their collector's edition, um, Essence D Incenses, I believe it's called. Whenever they, the local farmer that they use to get their um, essential oils and stuff, whatever they have an overabundance of for the year, Dipti creates a limited edition perfume. This is Jasmine. Uh, this year is Rose. It's in a very pretty black bottle. If you can see that. It's in a very pretty black bottle. I really, really like that. And it's definitely one that I have added to my list of perfumes. But this is a very, very smoky jasmine. If you don't like jasmine, stay clear of this. And it's not even just like it's a fresh jasmine. It's a dirty, dirty jasmine. It has um, a lot, a lot of dirt qualities to it. It's very burnt almost, I want to say. And it also has one of the old pumps, which I love. Let's see. But yes, it's very old time perfume. So if you like older time perfumes, definitely see if any local stores have it. I don't believe they make that one anymore. The next one that I purchased, this is the first um, Diptyque launch I was a part of, um, is the Eau de Sans perfume. Now, I don't want to say I'm a part of because I don't work for the company, but um, when I started purchasing, this is the first big perfume launch that I got to witness. So it was really cool. They had like these monkeys because it's all about the senses. So this one has orange blossom, bitter orange, juniper berry, angelica, and patchouli. So if you think you love citrus, definitely give this guy a try. I really like it. As soon as I smell it, I really smell the angelica, which is very similar to like a tuberose. It's very, very, very white floral with those oranges. Now there's bitter orange and orange blossom. So you're gonna smell that floral from the orange blossom mixed with that bitter orange, not like a sweet orange. It's gonna be very, very tart. It's really gonna like, you know, taste it in the back of your throat almost. Juniper berry is a beautiful perfume. I know Byredo uses juniper berry in a lot of their perfumes. So this guy is very, very similar to, if you like the Byredos, I feel like you'll like this because it's something that I could see them having. And it also has some patchouli in the back. And the patchouli is really what's going to make it, like, earthy and deep. So it's a really, really cool scent. Um, I know that one of my really good friends has a sample of this, and every time I wear it and I'm out with her, she's immediately like, you have Otisans on. Like, people know Otisans. It's crazy. Next, I have Philosicos in the Oda Parfum. Oh, well, that focused, like, amazing. Philosicos, ooh, that is my Dyson Air Multiplier. I'm actually going to turn that guy off. It is an air purifier. Um, Philosicos, this is fig tree. So if you're familiar with the fig tree, um, the fig figgy candle from Diptyque, this is very similar to that. Um, it is green fruit, wood, and thick leaves. So it's the whole entire fig tree. So if you like figs, I feel like you're really going to like this. And if you like the fig tree, you're definitely going to like this. Very springy, very, very bright and citrusy. I definitely love this guy for spring. It's definitely not a winter fragrance unless you live in like Southern California, which I do not. But something like that, I would definitely say is cool to pick up. I really like that. Two more. Oedo. I have a love-hate relationship with Oedo. I've used quite a bit of this. Oedo, I love, but it's super citrusy, and citrus does not work for my skin. It works, 
but it is gone instantly. Now, Oedo compared to Oda Sans are two totally different fragrances. I'm sorry if I keep looking over here. I am trying to get the notes for you guys. Oedo. It sounds like away, away, away. So Oedo, a joyous and distinguished scent worn by sun-drenched time, this toilet is named after the city of Edo. As the former of Tokyo Fresh Scents, Yuzu, which is a cousin to the lime, and citrus. So it's just extreme citrus, which I definitely picked up, obviously, in here. Yeah, I mean, it is just straight up citrus. And like I said, citrus does not work for my skin. It doesn't work for a lot of people's skin necessarily. Citrus is a very hard essential oil to grasp. Um, even Le Labo, which I'm going to be filming my Le Labo collection after this. Um, their Fleur de Orange 27 is absolutely beautiful. I have to wear it when it's spring. It doesn't work any other time. It just disappears, but I love that scent. This guy I like to freshen my linens with. I will spray this as like a body spray because it just does not last as a pure perfume on me, but I love it. And last but not least is 34. Now for one, take a look at this gorgeous bottle. My aunt got me this one for uh, Valentine's Day last year. So it has the 34 on here. It is a magnetic cap like the Byredo perfumes. So 34 Boulevard St. Germain is a fragrance celebrating Diptyque's 50th anniversary. 34 encapsulates the scent of its first boutique, located at 34 Boulevard St. Germain, with rare and precious fragrances. The result is a fragrance that has an innovative and complex signature that's neither feminine nor masculine. Developed around a shipery backbone, the base notes of wood and balms add comfort and create addiction. It is a rich and voluptuous voluptuous fragrance which is suitable for men and women the famous oval shaped label is printed on the boxes and determine the shape of the eau de toilette's bottle 34 is engraved on the black balcolite magnetic cap like a stamp the concave base of the bottle evokes a rounded form of the paperweight sold at 34 boulevard saint germain it actually won a fifi award which is like the tonys and the grammys for perfume in 2002 for best interior scent collection this is super spicy it smells like the original diptyque store which i need to go to paris i have a piece of there we go um i need to go to paris to go to that store because if it smells just like this i will just pass out people love this fragrance on me too as you can see i haven't used a whole lot of it yet but it just smells whoops my computer went to sleep there we go. Um, love this scent so much. It's very spicy, but it has that uh, cleanness that all diptyques have as well. It's just, it is awesome. But anyway, those are my diptyque perfumes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have you guys tried any? Blah, blah, blah. Have you guys tried any diptyque perfumes? Let me know. Leave a comment down below, and I'll definitely um, respond like I always do. Um, ones that are on my list are definitely that rose and also the Odelier, which is like an ivy leaf. It's definitely different from the other ones that I have, so I definitely want to add that guy to my collection. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if you like Gyptique, what you like. Talk to you guys later. Bye!